Ladies and gentlemen, the organizing committee of the ISSF World Cup Lima Peru 2022 will now take place. It's going to be in trap women event, start preparation and walking in a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the organizing committee of the ISSF World Cup Lima Peru 2022 and the ISSF w welcome you for today's Trap Women event starting now. <laughs> On position number four with pit number seven, Erika Cesa from Italy. On position number three, with bib number five, representing Spain, Cristina Beltrán. <laughs> On position number two, with bib number three, representing the United States of America, Kaylee Browning. <laughs> and in position number one, with bib number one, representing Italy, Alessandra de la Valle. The jury member in charge is Miss Farias and the referee is Mr. Poe. The athletes are about to begin. It's Italy, it's United States of America, Spain, and Italy once again. So we have two representatives of Italy, one from the United States of America and one from Spain. Kaylee Browning for the United States of America hits the target. The target is broken, so they have to repeat it right now. That's a miss. One hit for Italy. One miss for Italy, Alessandra de la Valle. The target start broken. 
the representative of the United States of America, Kaylee Browning, has to repeat the target again. No target again. She has to repeat the target. And that's a hit for the United States of America. Next comes the representative of Spain, Beltran. a hit for the United States of America. No target. Spain has to repeat it. There's no target. Spain has to repeat it again. And that's a hit. After two targets, we can see that the representative of the United States of America has two hits. Then comes... Oh, that's a miss of Erika Cesa from Italy. After two targets shoot by, by all the athletes, we see that Kelly Browning from the United States had hit both. And that's a hit once again. So three targets from Kelly Browning from the United States of America. Now comes Spain. And that's a hit. Beltran from Spain has two targets hit it. And that's a miss for Erika Sessa. And that's a hit for Alessandra de la Valle. Here comes the United States of America. And hit. That's a miss for Spain, Beltran. That's a hit for Cesa, representing Italy. And the last target for Italy was broken. She has to repeat it. So here comes the last target of De La Valle, representing Italy. The last target of the first five targets. And that's a hit. Now comes the United States of America. The target was broken. She has to repeat it. That's a hit for the United States of America. Now comes Spain. And hit. Now comes Italy with Erika Sessa, and that's a hit. After, after five. After five target shot, in position number one is Kaylee Browning from the United States of America. In position number two, representing Italy, is Alessandra de la Valle. In position number three, with three targets each, comes Cristina Beltran and Erika Cesa.
bottom position on the one with my huge number of only after five targets leading the competition with five out of five or one target behind you so and so far not representing only a short comment who is uh, leading okay and if somebody is not satisfied then there is a bar you know you can hit the road you have to show the bar if he's not making a break then the coach shows the bar and then you wait for more to to hit him yep Now comes Cesa from Italy for the first target, the sixth target. And that's a hit. It's Erika Cesa from Italy and hits the, the sixth target. Now comes once again De La Valle from, Spain, from Italy. Now comes from the United States, Browning. And that's a hit. Next comes Spain, Beltran. The seventh target. Let's see how it goes. And that's a hit. Erika Sessa from Italy is going to shoot. And that's a miss for Sessa from Italy. Oh, and that's a miss from De La Valle. In position number one is Kelly Browning from the United States. Let's see how it goes, this target. And that's a hit. So seven targets for Kelly Browning, six targets from De La Valle from Italy. Now comes Spain. The target comes out broken, so she has to repeat it. This is a hit target from Spain. Now comes once again Erika Cesa from Italy. And that's a miss. It was a straight target. Now comes Italy once again with De La Valle. And hit. Now the United States of America with bid number three. It was a right target hit it. Perfectly hit it. Now comes Spain. And he did. It was a straight target, and she did perfectly. Here comes Erika Cesa from Italy, a right target, he did perfectly. Once again, Alessandra de la Valle representing Italy with pip number one, and she hits the target. and a right target hit by the United States of America, the competition is really, really tight. So we see that, that the United States is leading with nine targets, then comes Italy with eight targets, Spain and Italy once again. Erika says he's going to shoot, and that's a hit. After 10 targets shoot, with 9 out of 10, is Kelly Browning from the United States of America. Then 8 targets of 10, Italy, 8 of 10, Spain, and 6 out of 10 is Cesar from Italy. They are going to hit the last 5 targets. Once it's over of this 15, one of the athletes must go out. This is the first semi-final, then we're going to have the second one. So these five targets is, are very important because they are going to decide which athletes maintain and continue competing for a place into the final.
And that's a hit the target from the United States. It was a right target. Hit it by Spain. It was a straight target. Well done. Right target for Italy, made by Erika Sessa. Now she had seven points out of 11. Oh, and Alessandra de la Valle from Italy has missed this target, remaining with nine targets hitted from 11 possible. And the United States hits the left target. Here comes Spain. And Spain misses this target. So she remains with nine targets hit out of 12. And Erika Sessa from Italy hit this target, having eight points out of 12 possible. De La Valle hits once again. The United States of America hits this left target, having 12 targets hit out of 13 possible. And Spain hits. She has 10 hit targets out of 13 possible. Competition is really, really close. Three athletes out of the four in this semifinal will remain competing for a space to the great final. And it's a hit target for Erika Sessa from Italy, having nine targets out of 13 possibles. And that's a miss from Alessandra de la Valle representing Italy. So she has 10 targets out of 14 possibles. Now comes the United States of America. And the USA hits the target, leading this first semifinal, with 13 targets hit out of 14 possible. Only one miss by her. And Spain hit this right target, having 11 targets hit out of 14 possible. And Erika Sessa, representing Italy, misses the target, maintaining only 9 targets out of 14 possible. This one is the last target for all of the athletes. De La Valle hits, having 12 targets hit in this semifinal. And the United States of America misses, finishing this semifinal with 13 targets out of 15 possible. And hit but Spain with 12 targets out of 15. And Erika Sessa hits the target. After 15 targets, in first position is Kelly Browning with 13 out of 15 possible. Then Italy, Alessandra de la Valle, 12 out of 15. Beltran from Spain, 12 out of 15. And Erika Sessa, 10 out of 15. Thank you very much for the athlete Sessa. <laughs> now we're still competing for two quotas for the final. So we have the United States of America, Italy de la Valle, and Cristina Bertrand from Spain. It's a really, really close competition. So we have 10 more targets to go until the 25. No target this time. The United States of America has to repeat it. She's preparing to hit this target. Those 10 targets, that come, they are really, really important to determine which of the two athletes will stay in the final. Oh, and the United States of America misses this target. And Beltran from Spain misses again. So after the 16th target, it's 13 targets from, from Italy, 
16, 13 targets from Kaylee Byrne from the United States of America and 12 targets from Spain. And Cristina was And Italy hits once again. Now it's preparing the United States of America for this target. And hits. Spain is preparing to hit this one. And misses. So Spain remains with 12 targets hitted out of 17 possible. So in first position is Alessandra de la Valle from Italy with 14 and the same targets uh, United States of America, Kelly Browning. And Italy misses. Now in first position is Kelly Browning once again. Let's see how it goes this target. No target. And the target is broken. She needs to prepare again. If she hits this target, she will be in the first position once again. And she does it. Now comes the representative of Spain, Beltran. After two targets missed before, this one is a right target hit. It. In position number one, we have the United States of America with 15 targets out of 18 possible. Alessandra de la Valle representing Italy with 14 targets out of 18 possible. And she misses, so she's with 14 remaining. Now the United States of America had the chance to extend the lead. If she hits this target, she's going to be two ahead of the representative of Italy with 16 and 14 targets. Let's see how it goes. And she does it. Now she's leading with two targets ahead. Now comes the representative of Spain, Beltran. She's preparing. And no target. She has to repeat. It was broken before. If the representative of Spain broke this target, she's going to be equal in points with De La Valle from Italy. And she does it. Now we have in leading position Kelly Browning from the United States. And second place with the same points is De La Valle from Italy and Spain, Beltran. And De La Valle hits having 15 targets out of 20 possible. And Browning hits. She had seven. 17 targets hit it out of 20 possible. And then comes Beltran from Spain. Let's see how it goes. And she misses, so she stayed with 14 targets. After 20 targets shot, with 17 out of 20 possibles in first position is the United States of America. With 15 out of 20 possible is De La Valle from Italy. And with 14 out of 20, Beltran from Spain. We enter into the five targets possible. This will determine who of the two athletes will remain into competition to the great final. And Italy hits De La Valle. Now she has 16 targets hit out of 21. Here comes the United States of America with Kelly Brown. And she does it. A right target. Difficult one. But she achieved it. And here comes Spain. Beltran. Cristina Beltran. And she hits this target having 15 out of 21 possible. The positions are remain as following. The United States first place, Italy second, and Spain third. With four remaining targets. Italy hits the target. And the United States of America missed this target. Remaining with 18 targets possible. So the coach of the United States of America asked for Barr. He believes Barr. He believes that that the athlete hit the target and the, the referees need to check if it was hit or it was missed. So now they will see the cameras and see if the bar has give a point to the, the representative of the United States of America or it's maintained as a missed target. If it's given hit, she's going to maintain the lead 
with 19 targets. If not, she's going to stay with 18 targets. So all of the UE members are checking the cameras and will decide soon if it's a missed or hit a target. The jury members and the referees are checking closely the video to see if a piece of the plate of the clay shooting plate is broken then it would be a hit if not it will, it's going to be a miss so they just check the video they're going to announce it it's a loss. Now we continue with the competition. Here comes the representative of Spain, Beltran. If she hits the target, it's going to be 16 targets hit. She sees really focused, really focused on the target. She's preparing right now, it's going to ask for the target. And the target goes broken. She has to repeat again with pip number five. Cristina Beltran from Spain is about to hit the next target. If she does it correctly, she's going to have 16 points off of, of the 25 possible. And it's going to be close to the other competitors. And she misses. She misses this target. No, it's a hit. It's a hit. The referee gives a good one. So she has 16 points. Now comes De La Valle and hits. De La Valle has 18 points out of the 21 possible, 25 possibles. And Kelly Brown hits from the United States of America, maintaining the lead. Cristina Beltran from Spain missed the target. Remaining with 16 targets, hit. It seems that the competitors that will continue into the final is going to be the United States of America and Italy. We have the two last targets. In Italy, De La Valle misses this target. And the United States of America misses again. So the lead continues the same, but both miss the last target. Now, the representative of Spain is preparing to hit, and she hits. Now she has 17 targets possible out of 25. We enter into the last target, and Italy hits. Alessandra Lavalle finished the first semi-final with 19 possible out of 25. For the last target comes Kaylee Browning from the United States of America, and the target is broken. She has to repeat. Once these 25 targets are finishing, the two best results are going to pass into the great final. And she hits. The United States of America finished the competition with 21 targets. And Spain hits, finishing with 18 targets. After 25 targets, the United States with 21 out of 25 in the first position. In second position, Italy with 19 out of 25. And third position, Spain with 18 out of 25. Thank you very much. Well done. Now it's change over time for semi final two. You have to, you have to announce that uh, after five targets, leading the name. Not from USA, no, only the name. Leading, so and the name, target finish. And then when it goes to, as we go to eliminate one after the next five races, the next round will eliminate place number four. Danger is at the moment that is that person. Huh? In danger. And then No, no, you can say you can say all, but the, the leader and 
you can say everything you see some shots take leading so and so and in the last position so and so and when we have the last five targets you know after let's say after ten targets you can in danger is that is that person at the end because the next five targets will eliminate okay. the fourth place Now we're going to start with the second semi-final. The second semi-final is about to begin. We have representatives from Italy, Spain, India and Finland. They are showing the targets before the start in the competition and the referee for this semi-final is Mr. Jack Bush that comes from the United States of America. They are going to see the targets and then we're going to announce the semi-final. So the first two of the first semi-final they enter into a great final. Now for the second semi-final we're going to decide which ones will accompany them in the great final. It could be either Italy once again, Spain with Fatima Galvez, India with Shakun Shotravi, or Finland with Satu Makeda Numela. The second semi-final is about to begin. We have a representative from Italy, Spain, India and Finland. As mentioned before, this semi-final is going to decide which two athletes are going to accompany the artist of the first semi-final to a great final. They are testing their guns. In Spain, Fatima Galvez. She won recently a gold medal in the Olympics in Tokyo 2020 that was made in the year 2021 20, because of the pandemic situation. We have really good shooters in this semi-final. Ladies and gentlemen, the organizing committee of the ISSF World Cup Lima Peru 2022 
welcome you for today's Trap Women event. In position number four, Satu Makela Numela representing Finland. In position number three, Shagun Shodavi representing India. In position number two, Fatima Galvez representing Spain. And in position number one, Gaia Ragazzini representing Italy. The referee in charge is Mr. Jack Burch, and the jury member, Ms. Farias, Maria Farias. The second semi-final is about to begin, starting with Gaia Ragazzini, and it's a hidden target. Now comes Spain to Fatima Galvez, and she hits the left target. In position number three, from India, she hits the target. And from Finland, she missed the target, so after the first target shot, it's in was missed by Finland and the all representative from Italy, Spain and India have hit it. And it's a hit once again from Italy. Spain Fatima Galvez missed the target. And India hits the target. Now comes Finland. Let's see. She missed the first one. She has to get it right. And she does it. It was a straight target. And she did perfectly. So the third target is going to be shoot. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy once again. And she hits the left target. Having three out of three. Well done. Now comes Fatima Galvez from Spain and hits the straight target. India hits the first, a right target. She has three out of three. And Finland hits the target. Two out of the three possibles. And the target is broken. Italy has to repeat. And it's a hit target. Four out of four for Italy. Fatima Galvez from Spain is about to shoot. And see, she does it perfectly. Now comes India, perfectly done. And Finland, the fourth shoot, and she does it perfectly. This is the last target for the first five targets. If Italy hits perfectly, it's going to be five out of five. And she does it. She's in position number one. Now Spain is going to hit, and she does it perfectly. She has to repeat it. Spain, Fatima Galvez, the fifth target, and she does it perfectly. India, Left target, well done by India. And 
and well done by Finland. With five targets out of five, in the first position is Italy and India. Then comes Spain with four out of five, and Finland with four out of five as well. Now we enter into the next five targets. Italy starts once again. It's in 15 targets, and one of the athletes will go, go away of the competition. So after 15 targets, we see the results, and we'll decide which one of them will stay. And Spain does it very good. And India, once again. Finland. Finland hits a left target. Well done. So the sixth target was hit perfectly by all of the athletes. And Ragazzini hits the right target. Oh, it's a missed by the representative of Spain, Fatima Galvez, having five out of the seven possibles. And India hits. By now, India and Italy are leading the competition with seven out of seven. And Finland hits the target. So the positions are Italy and India in the first position, and then comes Finland with six targets out of eight, and then comes Spain. And Italy misses her first target. And Spain hits. If India hits this target, it's going to be in the leading position. And does it perfectly. Now India is in the first position, following by Italy in the second position, Finland and Spain. And Finland hits, being in the third position. Was hit perfectly by Italy, Fatima Galvez. They don't know to which direction it's going to, to be, and it comes right. It could either go right, left, or straight, but in many angles. And India misses this target, being equal in the first position with, with Italy once again. So it's in leading position, Italy and India, following by Finland, who is also with eight targets. It's a very, very competitive semi-final. And the target is broken. She has to repeat it once again. Ragazzini looks really, really focused. She knows where the target goes because it was broken before. It's about to end, hits perfectly. Now Fatima Galvez, the Olympic champion, hits the target. And India hits the target. It was a straight target. And Finland hits. With, na with nine out of ten targets equal, it's Italy, India, and Finland. With eight targets out of ten possible, Spain. We are entering into the five last targets. These last five targets are going to decide which of the athletes is going out of the competition and the other three will continue competing in the 25 target shots. So Italy hits, now comes Spain, and Spain misses, so Fatima Galvez remains with eight targets hitted. And India hits with ten, same position as Italy. And if Finland does it, it's going to be 10 as well. And Finland does it. So in the first position is Italy, India, and Finland with 10 targets hit it. Fatima Galvez is with 8. 
She has to sh shoot these four last targets perfectly if she wants to continue the competition. And Italy hits. Fatima Galvez, let's see how it goes. And she hits the left target perfectly. India. And India hits the right upper target with 11 targets possible out of 12 shoot. And Finland misses. So now in the leading position is Italy and India. And the third, third position is Finland. If it continues like, like this, Fatima Galvez is going to, to be out of the competition. We have two remaining, three remaining targets. And Fatima Galvez misses. Bar. Bar. So now the coach of Spain asks for bar. The referees and jury members need to check the video and see if it's a missed or hit the target. Referee Mr. Jack Burch and jury member Maria Farias is going to check the video and the replay and see if they believe it's a hit the target or it's a missed one. If it's a hit the target, Fatima Galvez is going to have 10 hit the targets. If not, She's going to maintain the, the points with nine. This target is crucial if she wants to ma con maintain the competition. After those 15 targets, one of them is going to be out of the competitions. And three will remain competed to continue competing for those two quota places for the great final. The referee, Mr. Jack Burch, is seeing the replay closely. They will determine which is the final decision of them. If they believe he's a hit the target, it's going to change the points of Fatima Galvez from Spain, and she's going to have 10 instead of 9 targets hit it. This is the second semi-final, which will determine which two athletes will enter into the great final to have the opportunity to win a medal. The referee and jury members continue seeing closely the video to determine if it's a hit target or a lost one. They are checking closely the replay. All of the coaches has the chance to ask for bar if they believe the decision of the jury at that moment was not the correct for them to check the video and the replay. The coach of Spain, Marcelo Dradi, a really renowned coach in the world of shooting has asked for bar. Let's see which is the final decision of the referees and jury members. After this semi-final, we will enter into the final with the ones, the two first position of the first semi-final and the two first position of the second semi-final will constitute the great final. They are continue checking the replay. It seems it's a very difficult decision because they are taking time to analyze if it was, if it's a broken target or it's a lost target. Mm -hmm. 
as mentioned before, this target is very, very important because if it's a missed target, Patty McGalvey will not have the chance to continue to fight for a quota place for the great final. That's the reason why the referee and the jury members are taking that time to analyze correctly, which is the final decision. The final decision is lost. So the referee declared a lost target. So Fat Fatima Gal from Spain will remain with nine targets. And it's very difficult for her at this moment. And India hits the target, having 12 targets hit it. And Finland hits the target. And the leading position is Italy and India with 12 targets out of 15 possible. And then comes Finland with Michaela Humela with 11 targets out of 15 possible. And finally comes Fatima Galvez, who hits the, the last target. She's with 10 out of 15 possible. And India hits once again. Now comes Finland. And Finland misses this target with 11. 11 out of 15 possible. All of the shooters has the last target from this First 15. And Italy, Gaia Ragazzini hits. And Fatima Galvez hits. India hits the target with 14 out of 15. If Finland hits this target, then Spain is going to be out of competition. If she misses, Spain will continue. With 14 out of 15 in the first position is Italy and India. Then comes Spain with 11 out of 15. And we congratulate the participation of Finland. Big round of applause. <laughs> now we will enter into the last 10 targets to determine which two athletes will enter into the great final. Now we will start the 10 last targets. Remaining in competition is Italy, India and Spain. With 14 targets out of 15 is Italy and India. And with 11 targets out of 15 possible is Spain. It's a very difficult competition right now for Spain because she's with three targets less than the other athletes. And India does it perfectly. So the first, the first shot of this block of 10 targets the three of them does it perfectly. And Italy hits the target. With fit number two is Gaia Ragazzini representing Italy. She's a really young athlete. And India hits the target. It was a right, difficult, very, very difficult target, and she does it perfectly. So they continue the competition for these two quota places to the final. Eight remaining targets. And Italy hits the target. Fatima Galvez from Spain is preparing. She looks really, really focused. And she does it perfectly. It was a difficult right target, and she controlled it perfect. Here comes India, and she hits. All of the three athletes has have perfect, perfect shoots of these initial three targets. With seven targets left, 
and only two quotas for the great final. The others continue competing very, very strong to enter into a great final that will accompany the ones of the first semifinal. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy, and she does it perfectly. She has four targets hidden in this block. Now comes Fatima Galvez and hits a straight target very, very well. India, if she hits, she will continue leading with Italy and she does it perfectly. So they have shot four targets out of the ten last. Six targets until we will know which ones will enter into the final. And the target is broken. Italy has to repeat it. She's breathing. She's focused. Let's see how it goes. And she does it perfectly. It's a hit target. 19 out of 20 possible. Well done. And Fatima Galvez does it. And the final target for India, and she does it perfectly. With 19 out of 20, and the first position is Italy and India. And with 16 out of 20 is Spain. Now we enter the five last target. Those are crucial to determine which two of the three athletes will enter into a great final. And Italy misses. So it's, it's a really important target for Spain if she has to continue fighting to get in the first or second position. And she hits. And India hits. Now India is in the first position, followed by Italy in the second position, and third, Spain with only four remaining targets. And Italy hits the right target. Fatima Galvez from Spain, fighting back. And she hits the left target. Well done. Now comes the leading position from India. And she does it perfectly. So she's continuing in the first position of this second semifinal. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy looks really, really focused. With only three remaining targets. And she does it perfectly. A left target. Spain, Fatima Galvez, the Olympian, the Olympic medalist. She hits perfectly. She's fighting back. And India does it perfectly as well, remaining in the first position. There are only two targets left to finish this second semi final. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy. Ragazzini. And she missed this target. Bar. And the coach of Italy asked for Bar. The athlete of Italy believes she hit the target. That's why she, she and her coach asked for Bar. The referee and the jury members are going to check the replay. This target is crucial for Italy. If it's given missed, she will remain with 21 targets. If it's given hit it, she will have 20 targets, as same as India. These last two targets will determine who, which of the two 
of the three artists which two artists will enter into the great final. The weather is perfectly for shooting today. It's sunny, you can see the clays perfectly, the contrast with the green, with the green background. It's a long for competition for them. We'll see what the referee says, the final decision. And it's a loss. We will continue with the competition. It was a loss from now on. In the leading position is India with Shagun Shodari. And she misses. Fatima Galvez from Spain misses the last target. So and India hits. India is leading the competition. The last target for Italy. And it's a hit. It's a hit for Italy, finishing with 22 targets out of 25 possible. It's a hit by Fatima Gables as well, finishing with 20 out of 25 possibles. And the last shot by India. And hit. With after 25 targets, in position number one, it's India. Position number two, Italy. And position number three, Spain. Congratulations. India and Italy will enter into a great final. The final will start in 10 minutes. So the second semi-final is finished. Now we have the athletes. We have the athletes that will enter into a final. So it's going to be Italy, the United States, and India. The athletes of the final are preparing. In 10 minutes, it will start. It's going to be a fascinating final with representatives from different continents, such as Italy from Europe. We'll have India. We'll have the United States of America. All of them with great shooters. It's going to be an amazing final. As we saw, they were two great semi-finals. The athlete of India hit 24 targets out of 25 possible. Almost 100% of accuracy. We are getting closer into the final, women's trap final, here in Lima, in the World Cup 2022, with more than 40 nations 
represented. More than 150 plus athletes from all over the world.
The final is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, the organizing committee of the ISSF World Cup Lima Peru 2022 welcome you to the Trap Women Final. In position number four, representing Italy, Alessandra De La Valle. In position number three, representing the United States of America, Kaylee Browning. In position number two, representing Italy, Gaia Ragazzini. And in position number one, representing India, Shagun Shodari. You remember is in charge Maria Farias from Venezuela, and the referee is Mr. Poe from Dominican Republic. Let's start the final. Good luck for the athletes. The great final is about to begin. With the best position is India, Shagun Shodari. She shot the semi-final perfectly with 24 targets out of 25 possible. And she misses the first target. Now comes Italy, Gaia Ragazzini in the second position. And she misses as well. The third position from the United States, Kaylee Browning. She misses as well. It could be the it could be the the nervous of this final. Because they haven't hit as many targets in the last twenty-five and they hit the first one. And Italy hits this target. No, it was India. It was India that hit it, that target. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy comes next, and she hits the target, a straight target. The United States of America hits the straight target. And Alessandra de la Valle in fourth position. Nope, no target. They have to repeat it. Alessandra de la Valle once again in the second target. And she hits the target. Oh. India hits the target. Kaya Ragazzini from Italy. And she misses. No, she's asking for bar. Oh, oh, it's a good target. That's what the referee says. So no need for bar. Kelly Browning from the United States hits the target. And Alessandra de la Valle from Italy misses this target. They are entering to the two last target out of these five, and India hits the target. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy. She looks really focused. And it's a right target and perfectly hit it. Kaylee Browning from the United States. And misses. She missed this target with two out of five. Italy misses this target, Alessandra de la Valle. And, and India misses. Gaia Ragazzini hits the target, so she finishes with four hits out of five. Kelly Browning hits three out of five. 
Bueno, Alessandra Lavalle. Four hits out of five. Three out of five, three out of five, and three out of five for Italy. And India misses the target. So she remains with three out of six now. Next comes Gaia Ragazzini from Italy. And she hits the target perfectly. Kelly Brown from the United States of America. She misses the target. Now comes Italy. Alessandra de la Valle. And hits the right target. India hits the target perfectly. Now comes Gaia Ragazzini once again from Italy, the young athlete. She competed in the Junior World Championship here in Lima last year and now is representing Italy as a senior. Well done for her. That's Katie Browning and does it perfectly, a right target. Alessandra de la Valle and missed the straight target. Now in the first position is Raya Ragazzini from Italy. In the second position is India with the United States of America and Italy with the other athlete. And India hits the target. So with three remaining targets for the first 10. Gaia Ragazzini looks really focused and does it perfectly. Now the United States of America with Kaylee Browning. Does it well. A right target. Alessandra de la Valle is next. And she misses the target. A right one. Very difficult one. And India misses the target. Next comes Gaia Ragazzini from Italy. She looks really focused. And does it perfectly, a straight target. Now the United States of America with Kaylee Browning once again. And she hits it perfectly. Well done. Next comes Alessandra de la Valle from Italy and hits. And India hits. <clears throat> and Kelly Browning. With nine hits. With nine hits, in the first position is Italy with Gaia Ragazzini with seven hits, USA, six hits out of ten, India and Italy. And it's a right target for India. Now comes Gaia Ragazzini and hits it perfectly, continuing leading this competition. The United States of America hits the target. And Italy with Alessandro de la Valle hits the target. With four remaining targets, India missed this target. 
these last four targets are really important to continue fighting for a medal. And Gaia Ragazzini hits again with 11 targets. And Kaylee Browning hits. Alessandra de la Valle and hits. Hit by India. A left target, well done. Now comes Gaia Ragazzini from Italy with beat number two in the first position. And f misses a straight target. But she steals in the first position with 11 hits. Now comes Kaylee Browning from the United States of America and hits this target. Alessandra de la Valle from Italy is about to hit. She looks really focused. And she does it very well. With only two remaining targets. And India hits the target. Next comes Gaia Ragazzini from Italy. And hits the right target perfectly. Now comes the United States of America with Kaylee Browning. And hits the target. Alessandra de la Valle hits the target as well. India misses the target. It seems she's going to be out of the competition, missing the last target of this 15. The target was broken before she even had the chance to shoot. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy once again. The last target of this first 15 will decide which athletes will have the medals. And it's a hit. The coach asked for bar, but we continue because the referee says it's a hit. No need for bar. And Kaylee Browning from the United States hits. And Alessandra Valle hits. 13 hits for Italy, Gaia Ragazzini. 12 hits out of 15 for Kaylee Brown in the United States. 10 hits for De La Valle. And 9 hits from India. Congratulations. We continue with the next 10 hits. We have already the medalists. We don't know yet who's going to win this competition, but they have, they, are, they have the chance to win even the gold, silver, or bronze medal. And Gaia Ragazzini from Italy misses this target, remaining with 13 hits out of the 16. And the United States hits. Now they are equal in the first position with 13 targets. And Alessandra Lavalle hits. She continues in the third position. It looks like it's going to be like this. Let's see what happens in the next nine targets. We have two athletes representing Italy in this great final. And hit by Gaia Ragazzini from Italy. The United States, she looks really focused. And she misses a right upper target. Alessandra de la Valle from Italy. She hits. Now it's only one target ahead. So it's 14 targets hit by Italy. Gaia Ragazzini at 13 from the United States and 12 by the other representative of Italy, Alessandra de la Valle. It's a really, really close final. Let's see what happens in the next eight targets. 
This is the medal match, ladies and gentlemen. Gaia, Gaia Ragazzini really focuses and she hits the target, a right target. Now comes Kaylee Browning from the United States of America. She looks really focused and hits the straight target. Alessandra de la Valle from Italy once again, and she hits the straight target. They remain in the same positions. Italy, USA, and Italy once again for gold, silver, and bronze. And Gaia Ragazzini hits the straight target. Continuing with the lead for the gold medal match. And the United States of America misses this target. No bar, no, the coach has not asked for bar. And Italy has the chance. No, it was a hit target. It w the referee says it was a hit target for the United States of America, and it's a hit target for Alessandra Lavalle from Italy. So they remain in the same positions. The last target out of the 20 targets. And Italy with Gaia Ragazzini hits once again. Kelly Browning preparing for the next hit. And she hits the right target. It's a hit for Italy as well. The last five targets. The last five, five tar and it's a hit by the by the United by Italy, Gaia Ragazzini, with 18 hits by now. The United States and hits a right target. Alessandra Lavalle, she's ready, she's ready, and she does it perfectly. A left upper target. We have only four targets remaining to decide who's going to have the bronze medal and which of, of them are going to fight into the gold medal match. And that's a hit for Gaia Ragazzini once again. And Kelly Browning hits. Italy hits, Alessandra de la Valle. So the positions are remaining the same. Gaia Ragazzini is fighting for the gold medal. Kelly Brown in second place, and third is Alessandra de la Valle. The first two are going to enter into the gold medal match with 10 more targets to be hit at. Gaia Ragazzini hits the target once again. Kelly Browning, she looks ready. And the United States misses this target. Now she has 18. And Alessandra de la Valle has the chance to equal. And she equals. Gaia Ragazzini is ready, no target. She has to repeat. No target once again. The ref is going to check the machines. She has to turn and he's going to ask for the target. And it seems it's not working. They're going to repeat once again, and it's a broken target. And now, okay. 
Now it worked. Okay, worked again. So the athlete should be ready to to shoot this target. Kaya Ragazzi. And she does it perfectly. Kelly Brown from the United States of America. And she hits the target. Alessandra De La Valle from Italy. No target. She has to repeat. Those targets are crucial if she wants to enter into the gold medal match. And it's broken again. She has to repeat. She looks focused, calm, and ready. And once again, once again, she has to, to repeat the target. It was broken before even she had the chance to hit it. OK. When the referee asked for it, it worked perfectly, the machines. Italy, Alessandra de la Valle, she's ready. Oh. And hits perfectly. The last target to be hit. Kelly Brown in the last target and she hits Alessandra de la Valle. And she hits. With 22 targets out of 25 for Italy, Gaia Ragazzini, 20 out of 25 and 20 out of 25 for Alessandra de la Valle. We congratulate Alessandra de la Valle for the bronze medal. Now will come the gold medal match between Italy and the United States of America. Now, 10 more targets and we will know who's going to be the winner of this event. The women trap final for the gold medal is going to be against Italy against the United States of America. Italy is two targets ahead of the United States of America and nine targets remaining. And it's a miss by the United States of America. Now, Gaia Ragazzini is three targets ahead of Kaylee Browning with eight remaining targets. And the young athlete of Italy hits the right target. And the United States hit the straight target. Gaia Ragazzini from Italy, she took part of the Lima, of the Junior World Cup in Lima last year in 2021. She's a really young addict with a great present and future. Ready. With seven remaining targets, the Italian Gaia Ragazzini seems really focused. She has been hitting all the last targets. And she misses. It was a bar. So the coach from Italy, ah, no, no need for bar. No need for bar. The referee says it was a good target. So the referee says it's a good target, and we continue with the competition.
Here comes the United States of America. And the United States of America hits the target. Italy is leading the competition with three targets, with three hits ahead of the United States of America. Oh. And Italy hits the straight target perfectly. And the United States hits the right target. We have only five remaining targets to know who's going to win the gold medal and who's going to be in second place. Oh. And Italy, Gaia Ragazzini hits the target. She has 28 hits. Kate Browning hits the right upper target. And let's see. Oh. And misses the target. So we continue with the competition. The United States of America has to hit the target to continue. Oh. And she does it, a straight upper target. And it was done perfectly. We have, we have only three remaining targets to finish. Gaia Ragazzini looks really, really focused. If she hits the target, she's going to be the winner. Oh. And she hits the target. And the United States hits the right target. If she hits this one, she's going to be the winner. One more hit. 29 against 27 hits. Two, di two, two hits of difference between Italy and the United States of America. And she hits. Oh. And golden hit. We have the winner of the Women Trap event. We congratulate Gaia Ragazzini from Italy for the first place and Kaylee Browning for the second of the United States of America. All of the medalists, please stay for the official picture of the ISSF and the Organizing Committee of Lima 2022. In brief moment, in, in a few moments, we will begin the final of Trap Men's for the same competition. Be ready.
So please, we will be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much.